He survived bladder cancer, but could barely survive the humiliation he went through during a pat-down at the airport. Thomas Sawyer got pulled aside for a pat-down, and despite warning them about his medical condition, the TSA forcefully searched him, breaking his urostomy bag. Joining me now from Michigan is Thomas Sawyer. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Gretchen. So tell me when this happened to you. Uh, my wife and I went to Orlando, Florida on November 7th. It happened on November 7th at the Detroit Metropolitan Airport. And you are a survivor of bladder cancer, and that is why you have I this... I had bladder cancer for 15 years, right? And that's why you and have this bag. And so you uh, went through the body scanner, me. and then y you believed that they saw the bag on you, and that's when you went for the pat-down in a private room. Right. And what happened? Um, I think that, well, we got into the room and um, I first said, I have a medical condition I want to tell you about. And the, the TSA agent said, we don't need to hear that. And I said, no, really, you do need to hear it. And he said, no, we, we really don't. And I said, but I really need to tell you. And he had already told me the procedures for the pat down, so he just started the pat down. And I just felt that, well, Maybe it'll go okay, and I'm just not going to argue, you know. I've never been patted down in an airport, so. When he got to my chest area with the pat down, it was very, it was open palmed and very firm, very hard. And I knew, whoops, if he doesn't loosen his grip, <laughs> or, or, you know, we could have a potential problem. So I stopped and said, you need to go slower and you need to go softer because you're going to pull my urostomy bag off. And he said, I don't even know what that is. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to him before he did the pat down, and he just kept going. And sure enough, he popped the lid off the erostomy bag. I had urine all over my shirt, going down my leg, into my pants. And I'm, I'm so sorry about I'm that. I'm sure sir, he saw it. I, I know that this was this uh, an unbelievably humiliating experience for you. And after this pat down, then you had to go on the airplane like that, right? Well, yeah, um, he came back in after he, he walked out to have his gloves tested, came back in and said, okay, you can go. No apology, no nothing. I mean, you know, can we help you or anything? And I went to an airport bathroom, but I really didn't have enough time to really clean up properly. So I ran, caught my plane, uh, kept a magazine over my lap to kind of hide everything. When the plane got in the air, I went and used the air, airplane and I have, all of my extra supplies with me, extra clothes, went into the, uh, the airplane's bathroom and cleaned myself up, changed my clothes, and proceeded on to Orlando. I'm so sorry for what you had to go through, especially because of this. Here's the TSA guideline. Advise the security officer if you have uh, a urine bag, you will not be required to expose these devices for inspection. So obviously the person who did your pat down, Mr. Sawyer, had not read the TSA's yes. policy? No. I could tell that he hadn't been trained. He did not know what a urostomy was. And I think that's why I went public. Um, there are one half to a million people that have urostomies. There are over 70,000 cases of new bladder cancer every year in the United States. Um, this shouldn't be happening. They need training immediately. And I know that you sat down and wrote a letter to the TSA. If you would let us know when you hear from them, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. Mr. Sawyer, I'm sorry you had to go through this ex experience. I will do that, Gretchen. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us this morning. You're more than welcome.